We are Ben and Emma Graves and we're Red Tractor beef farmers in Northamptonshire. My parents were first generation pig farmers after a few summers of helping dad and weekends and school holidays. When I was 13 I went to Northampton Market with a neighbour and bought our first suckler cows, two cows which we called Molly and Doris. <laughs> 20 years later we're up to 150 cows. I've been brought up on a, on a beef farm myself and for me it's quite, quite normal to be tending to them at all hours of the day and I love it. Yeah, I do like cows, yeah, I like cows a lot. I think they're inquisitive animals, they're good mothering animals, they're, you know, they like to be part of a herd as well, they're very, very communal. I'd say that Ben definitely cares about his cows. They definitely come before me when it comes to date nights, evening in and very often during carving he is up at least three times during the night tending to them so I'd say you like your cows and you treat them very well. <laughs> Cattle traceability is really important it's important to us as farmers that we know which cows belong to which cow um, but also when cattle are moved around the country or they move to, to slaughter it's really important there's traceability throughout an animal's life. Every calf when it's been born is given two ear tags and they've got uh, identical numbers on them and they're unique to that animal and when I register our calves I get a passport back so a bit like our own passports if we want to go around the country there's actually one for each calf that's born as well. So I joined the Red Tractor scheme back in 2000 so um, yeah we've been a member for now 15 years. Being um, farm assured involves inspections which are done on an 18 month basis although you can have inspections with a day's notice. Um, or even unannounced. Or even unannounced. You can have people just turn up actually being a member of the Red Tractor you're basically subject to that. You need to be able to prove that you're a good farmer any day of the year really. And basically the inspector will come out and he'll want to check obviously that you're keeping your stock correctly bedded up and well looked after, clean water, fresh litter, dry clean food, um, just check your buildings and also the record keeping and, and that you're sort of farming as you really ought to be farming anyway. Another area that the inspector is looking at is also animal medicines and how we're actually managing them on farm. Are we storing them as we're meant to be and actually are we using them responsibly? So using them as much as we need to to protect an animal and treat an animal if it's poorly just like you treat your dog or treat your child but actually using them responsibly not using them unnecessarily and not using them too much. For us as Red Tractor Farmers, welfare is really important. So it's also really important to us that they're actually slaughtered properly and the welfare is continued on right the way throughout the supply chain. So that's why it's really important that people are looking for the Red Tractor logo because actually that means that the animals have come from a Red Tractor assured farm but also have been slaughtered in a Red Tractor assured abattoir where welfare is closely monitored. If a consumer wants to be buying British beef that's produced to Red Tractor standards, they can go into pretty much any of the major retailers, any of the supermarkets and pick up beef that is carrying the little Red Tractor logo. And that really, that's their guarantee that they're buying beef from, from farmers like us, really. Well, so as a, as a young farmer trying to push forward in the industry um, with the Red Tractor, it's vital to give the consumer what they want and they're key to my success in going forward. So we try and do our bit and do the best we possibly can. We do need the consumer to buy British and back the red tractor. So I'd really, I'd say to any consumer out there, if, if you want to support young farming couples like Ben and I, who are trying to look after our cows as well as we can, then look for the red tractor when you're buying beef.